In this video, we're gonna do this really awesome effect where we can reach out of our screen and mess with the buttons in front of the camera. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films, and in today's video, I'm talking about this really awesome effect that we can do inside of Adobe After Effects. And the effect that I'm talking about is this really awesome effect where you can reach out of the YouTube player and press the like button, you can press the subscribe button, the watch next, you can basically reach out of the player and click one of the buttons. So in order to do this, you first need to lock your camera to a tripod. So place your camera on a tripod and start rolling the camera. Now you kind of want to separate your footage into different layers in your mind. So this is one layer yourself, and then this is going to be the player. This is gonna be the YouTube page. We're gonna reach out of the player and then we're gonna come back in on ourselves to push something down here. So three, two, one, action. Camera's rolling, we reach out and we press a button just here. And now once you've got that footage, all we need to do is get this onto the computer, load up Adobe After Effects, and we can begin editing this effect. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you need to begin by dragging in two very important elements. The first one is a screenshot of a YouTube player. And as you can see, I've just screenshotted the video player and the description. I didn't bother with the recommendation tab on the right, I just took the middle bit. So I'm just gonna decrease the scale of this, I'm gonna position this up to the very middle, and then I'm gonna create a brand new white solid. So I'm gonna go into layer, new, solid, and I'm gonna make sure I use the eyedropper tool to select the exact same color background as the screenshot. And then selecting the screenshot, I'm gonna go into the mask tool. So that's the pen tool up on the top bar. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle mask around the outside of this mask just to remove those annoying black marks that you could see on the right of my example. Now from here, I'm going to drag the footage of me pressing the button onto the timeline. So I'm going to make sure this is at the very top. And I'm just going to go into scale by pressing S and I'm just going to decrease the scale and I'm just going to move this over the video player. So in my example, I need to pull the scale down to roughly around 60%. And then I'll pull the position up just to make sure that the reference video is removed. Now that looks really awesome, but the problem is it doesn't look like I'm pressing the share button. It just looks like I'm pressing the chair in the video. So we need to increase the scale, find the point where I'm pressing the button and align my hand up with the button that I want to press. So we'll press T on the keyboard to load up opacity. We'll pull this down to around 70%. We'll load up scale by pressing S. We'll increase the scale and then pull the position down until you're pressing the button that you want to press. So you might have to adjust the scale, the position. Just get this to a point where you're happy with. So as you can see in my example, I'm now pressing that share button. Now once you're happy with that, you just want to copy and paste that video layer. So we're going to select the video, hold command C and command V to paste that. And then you just want to find the point where your hand reaches over the video to the point where it goes over onto the white part of the YouTube player. And just before your hand goes over to that part, you just want to hold Command Shift D, delete the first part of the video, scrub through until the point where your hand comes back out of the YouTube player. So the point where your hand goes back into the video and again, select that video, hold Command Shift D and delete that second part. Now select both of those video layers will increase the opacity back up to 100%. And then we're just gonna hide the top video layer. We'll come back to this top video layer later on. This doesn't matter for now. Now we'll select the first video. So that's the one on the bottom and we'll press T on the keyboard to load up opacity again. And we'll pull the opacity all the way down to around two, three, four percent Now from here, we'll go up to the rectangle mask on the top bar of After Effects and making sure the video is selected, you want to draw a rectangle mask around the original reference monitor that was on your screenshot. And the second that you've done that, all you need to do is pull the opacity back up to 100% and your video should be sitting on top of that rectangle from the screenshot. So once you've done that, we'll turn the top video layer back on and then we'll go up to the Roto Brush tool and make sure that you double select the video. Now we want to get all of this video except for the part that goes over the white screen. So you want to change the size of your brush and you want to draw a green outline around your arm. So go to the very beginning position and just paint over the arm. 
and a pink outline will appear on the video on the parts that will remain. So make sure that your entire arm and the entire hand has a perfect pink outline around it and make sure nothing around it has this outline. So in my example, make sure that pink outline does not overlap the chair or my second arm. Make sure it perfectly sits over that one arm. And once it's doing that, you just want to play through the video and you want to make sure this pink outline follows the arm for the entire duration of the shot. And the second that you've done that, you just want to go back over to the original composition. And if we play this back, you can see that the arm comes out of the player, touches a share button and then goes back into the original video. Now, of course, my example, there's a little bit of overlay. It's not the cleanest example, but because this was just a tutorial, I didn't want to spend hours perfecting this, but make sure you really perfect this in your own example. Now, from here, we need to see some sort of reaction when the share button is selected. So we want to change this from gray to blue. So in order to do this, we're going to go down to the screenshotted layer. We're going to make a copy of this. So we're going to select command C, command V to make a copy. We're going to scroll to the point where the finger presses the share button and we're going to get rid of the first part of that video. So we're going to press command shift D and delete the first part. And then we'll scroll maybe half a second in time and we'll delete the second half of that clip. Now we'll press M on the keyboard to load up mask and delete the original mask. Go up to the rectangle tool and we'll just draw a mask around the share button. Now from here, we'll go up into effects and presets. We'll search for tint drag tint onto that layer and we'll change the map black to from black to let's say a nice aqua blue and we'll press OK. Now if we play this back as you can see the finger comes down presses the button and it goes blue. Now in my example it quickly goes blue and then goes back to being grey but if you want it to stay on blue then all you have to do is just extend the clip on the right all the way to the very end and that will remain blue for the rest of the clip. So as you can see, when we play this back, I reach out from the YouTube player, click the share button, it goes blue, and then I reach back into the YouTube player like nothing ever happened. It looks really awesome. But we're just gonna add one more thing to really sell this effect off, and that is a zoom out. So we're gonna start with the video in full screen, and we're gonna zoom out from the video to show the YouTube page. And in order to do this, we need to link everything to a null object. So we'll go up into layer, new, null object. We'll select all of the layers except for the null object. And we'll use the pit whip tool and we'll drag that on top of null one. Now all of those layers that you just selected, they should all now say null one in the parent and link sub menu. If they don't, then go through each individual layer and make sure they all say null one. Now from here, we're just gonna scrub through the video and find a point where I'm almost about to press the button We'll go into null one and we'll create a brand new keyframe on scale and position. Now we'll go maybe a second or two seconds back. So we'll pull the cursor over to the left and we'll increase the scale so that the video fits the full screen. And then we'll adjust the position. And when we play this back, we've got a full screen video. The camera slowly pulls out and I press that share button. Now in order to complete the sell this effect off, we want to add some motion blur. So select everything in the composition, select the motion blur button and make sure motion blur is activated inside of the composition by making sure this motion blur logo is blue. If it's gray, then make sure you select it so that it turns blue. And there you go, that's the effect now complete. So once this is rendered, we can quickly watch this back. And there you go, it's a full screen video. The camera zooms out. I reach out of the player, press the share button. It looks really awesome. So there you go, that is how you create this really awesome effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.